I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy out of the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rapping like that. We on our way. Where? To a foreign place. Yeah. Tattoo my passport. Check these foreign plates. We gon' be here for a minute, per these touring dates. Don't know the name, get familiar, these ain't foreign faces. I really don't even want no intro, I just wanna keep this shit moving cause I know a lot of y'all people got things to do. So let's just get this thing started. Put me up, put my clock up, let's get it going. So, A-Verb, salute to A-Verb and everything he has going on personally, professionally. He has his podcast, The Good People Podcast. I actually have watched a couple episodes about dating, relationships, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. But make sure you check that out. Slow it down. Make sure you check that out and see what he's got going on. I definitely like to shout out what people are doing while they're in their um, free time. So him and Geechee Gotti have been going back and forth. This is a battle that sometimes me and my man Showtime SP have debated and talked about. And I've stated that Geechee Gotti, who has been doing phenomenal with his career. He's doing what you're supposed to do when you get put in that position. There have been other people who have been put in certain positions who haven't done what he's done, but that's neither here nor there. That's a story. That's a different story starring different actors playing at a different movie theater. So Gigi Gotti has been doing what he's supposed to be doing. He put on for a coast. He's been winning. Uh, he's been, you know, doing everything that he needs to do to continue to get bigger and better names. Now he gets to a point where he's battled a lot and you're like, well, damn, what is he going to do next? Like, He's got to start moving towards that God tier because everything under him, he's already battled. He's battled damn near everybody. He's battled from new guys like Don Marino all the way up to Sue Surf. He's battled every fucking body. EFB, every fucking body. He's battled. When I think of who hasn't he battled, it's a shorter list than who he has battled. Like, who he has battled is a very, very long list. Who he has not battled is a short list. Um, but there's nothing wrong with that, you know what I'm saying? He's taking advantage of what's being put in front of him and doing what he needs to do for his career. But with that being said, you start to run out of opponents, and I was saying that he's got to move to that God tier level. So it kind of starts with someone asking um, Aver, would he be battling Gichi Gotti soon, or battling him on Gnome, I guess. And um, Aver replies, smoking Gichi, like as in, I'm not battling anybody, I'll be smoking this nigga. Um, a lot of fans have been saying they wanted to see either Geechee vs. Goods or Geechee vs. Averb. I say Averb um, because Averb to me, just to me, would be a better challenge. Um, him versus Goods is kind of in that same lane of big, big time superstar battles, but Geechee does good in those battles. Like, as long as he shows up, brings three rounds, doesn't choke, doesn't slip, He's gonna either get it debatable or he's gonna win. He's been doing that in a lot of superstar battles. But anyway, um, Gigi says, them dreads must be twisted too tight, old head. Saying the dreads must be twisted too tight, like for you to even think, for you to even come out your mouth and say that you would be getting a win versus me, them dreads must be twisted too tight. He says, them dreads must be twisted too tight. A verb, is your dreads twisted too tight? So verb then comes back and says, dread associates worry or fear, nothing connected to my brain. When it comes to that stage, remember, resembles that. These are locks, loke, like locks, loke, locks, loke. Nothing in my brain comes to that as in fear or dread when it comes to that stage. So these are locks, loke, saying that these are locks, loke. Um, so then, then they keep going on, and someone had asked uh, Geechee Gotti about battling Lou Castro because uh, Lou Castro's been doing his thing in, um, the, in, the, in the, 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 the um, ultimate, ultimate sum madness. Um, he said, I want to see you battle Luke Castro in a year. And then Geechee Gotti replies, every time a nigga win a battle, I get a post like this. No, nah, salute to bro, he's definitely in his bag, but I'm sure he's focused on that 25K right now, not me. Verb then replies, they do the same thing for you. You have a hot three summers, and they think you the GOAT. I'm going to work you, though. So bad. Then Gotti replies, man, listen, I'm going to give you the L you need, not the one you want. Don't let that go over your head. I'm going to humble you. Basically saying, I'm going to humble you. Like, you think that, uh, you think this is what you're thinking, but it's not really what you're thinking, if you get what I'm thinking. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all got the thought? Okay. So, uh, when, when the promo starts like this, and they start going back and forth, sending jabs at each other and shit like that, they more than likely are going to battle. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they probably are. Big stage? 
you would have thought big stage that Geechee has the advantage, but after seeing what Verb did versus Loaded Lux, I don't, wouldn't say that Geechee has a clear advantage. Um, he's going to be able to do some things. He has a huge fan base, though, like a huge fan base. But Verb is going to be able to do some things, too. And Verb showed y'all he could, he could go out of state, battle in front of a different crowd, and still do his numbers. So that's going to be a pretty, pretty intense one. If it does happen, we're just talking hypothetically. If, 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 if was a fifth, we could have a sip. So um, we'll see if that comes about. But I think that it's time, uh, especially if Geechee's not battling every week. You know what I'm saying? For the whole quarantine, he's battled like every week and twice on Sundays. He hasn't had a battle drop this week. Let's cross our fingers. So <laughs> if I was him, if he got verb, I would like slow down and, and bring your best performance. You don't want to bring no watered down shit. Uh, but he's got another one coming up too. Yeah, he's got a, another... Um, Another quarantine joint, the rooftop. He's got another rooftop joint coming up soon too. So, well, anyway, we'll see how that goes. So, anyway, um, John John the Don, salute to John John the Don. Um, he's he, he's talking about gnome too. Contemplating on gnome being I caught a body of the night at gnome nine, but regardless, Surf gotta see me after that. No excuses. I don't even care about the outcome of him and Lux. I can't let him get away with all the shit he's been talking for years. Saying like, yo, Surf, you've been talking shit for years. When it came to John John, his career, his accolades, him not being worthy of battling you, he is now. John John done got that. He done took all the necessary steps, including Battle Hollow with Don, and he really don't lose like that. So um, the, the battle that a lot of folks have kind of like pointed out as in he didn't win was versus New Jersey Twerk. I will say New Jersey Twerk was up 1-0. Second round kind of debatable. Some people still got Twerk winning. In the third round, you know, Jack Boy tried to jump in. So that that might be his last real clearish. But the battle didn't even finish, so I don't know. But um, anyway, and then what, since when John John jumped in and interrupted Jack Boy Main from getting his bars off, he kind of like turned the crowd on him and he was booing him. For, he, he didn't even get his bars off. So this did not finish, but Twerk was kind of winning anyway. Um, He said that he's contemplating on battling on no one, but he caught body at the night. Who would John John and I battle on a gnome? You know, it would have to go. That'd be a whole nother conversation. But um, he's saying that Surf would have to see him. I've been advocating for Surf to see John John. John John had one of the moments of the uh, Genesis joint. Ain't no more ducking wave. Time to swan dive. Oh, like he, he kind of went off on you, Surf. And like, Surf was standing right there when he did it too. So I mean, you you gonna have to you gonna have to catch that fade, regardless of the outcome of the um. Of the, of the loaded lux battle uh if surf brings three rounds and he's got moments he doesn't choke doesn't stumble he'll probably be debatable with loaded lux anyway i mean because loaded lux is loaded lux like we let's not even i could go i could talk about that shit for a week but that could definitely be a highly debatable joint but he's gonna need three rounds he, he he's like this we can't even have a we won't even start a conversation of a loaded Lux versus a Sue Surf without three rounds. Three rounds is the mandatory minimum. And you can't have a short one, like a minute and a half, and just be like, you heard me? Jersey, that's not gonna work. Um, Hollow to Don, Energy Don. Salute to Hollow to Don, everything that he has going on. Um, you know what I got on, lomclothing.com. Salute to lomclothing.com, everything that he does with that. He says, someone pay Rum Nitty's phone bill so I can find out if he wants me to kick his ass still. Don't call me out there and get quiet, sucker. Woo, Hollow Don is calling out Rum Nitty. Wow, now, Rum Nitty's not the type that's very vocal on social media. He doesn't do a lot of interviews. Uh, he's not really that kind of person. Like, he just shows up, does his thing, and he be out of there. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with that, but, you know, some people will say the promotion isn't there to take Rum Nitty to be that next level superstar. Uh, it, it, it requires some sort of promotion, right? So, you've seen it with a lot of people. To become that next level superstar, that big, big time talent, that billboard guy, it takes some kind of promotion. Like even the Charlie Clipses, even the Hitman Hollers, even the biggest artists still do some form of promotion. Shit, even Floyd Mayweather, he figured, he realized that it was more money in promotions than it was in actual boxing. I mean, he's getting a lot of money off boxing, but that Mayweather promotions is making a lot of money. De La Hoya stopped boxing to do. Golden Boy, like it, it, it's a lot of money in promotions. A lot of the biggest companies still promote every single day because you're always bringing someone in. 
um, bringing people in, bringing, you know what I'm saying, infrastructure. So anyway, uh, he says, uh, my next battle, Hollow to Don, my next battle will put me back in good standings with the battle rap community. All I need is rum, JC, niggas, they claim want it. Why is this so hard? Saying like, why is it so hard for me to get one of these niggas that claim they want the smoke? Uh, Rum Nitty and JC are very talented MCs. Uh, JC, who doesn't do a whole lot of promotion himself, he'll do he'll do face-offs, he'll do things like that, but extra promoting, like Charlie Clips level of promotion back when he was doing Charlie Clips TV, which is back, but that type of extra outside promotion you're not going to see. But um, I think him versus Rum Nitty would really test this pen. I heard rumblings of him and Rum Nitty battle before, but I don't, it never came to fruition. So we'll have to see whether or not that's going to be what it's going to be. But if it is, uh, who y'all have winning? Um, Rum Nitty's really, really found his lane. He has found his lane in what he does with the punches, the back to back to back to back shit like that. Uh, he's found his lane. Hollow, is you sure? Is you sure? Is you sure this is what you want? Is this is this is you, is you is you want what you want? And because listen, he ain't about to play with you. If it does go down, he's not about to play with you. But uh. I like Geechee versus Averb. Um, John John definitely versus Surf. Would would this is gonna have to happen before Surf um, gets famous, gets put on, gets a real record deal, and gets up out of the game? It's gonna have to happen. Um, and Rum Nitty versus Hollow. I definitely want to see Rum Nitty versus Hollow. Those are three matches that we could definitely could definitely lead to some smoke. Um, other than that, salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. Appreciate every single one of y'all watching this content during quarantine. I know a lot of y'all lives have changed. You know what I'm saying? I know people have lost jobs. People have had less hours. Some people um, have had issues paying bills, things like that. But at the end of the day, I will say as long as you've got your health, um, you know, there's a lot of people that have been affected by COVID. You know what I mean? And have went through it. I've seen people in our comments that are, you know, rice gang, 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 that have said they feel wild and brolic because they survived and dealt with COVID, you know what I mean? It's still relevant. I know there's people talking about, oh, I'm back outside, I'm back outside. Listen, don't let outside put you inside, all right? Oh, don't let that, oh, no, don't, don't let it go over your head. Don't let outside put you inside. Outside put you inside what? Outside put you inside a fucking casket. Until you know really, really what's going on, don't rush to be back outside, man, because people try to, Post videos like we're supposed to be upset that they're back outside. It's like, dog, there's a whole pandemic. People are dying every day. You need to take the necessary precautions to live out here because uh, you could go quick too. But other than that, salute to every single one of y'all. I'm off my soapbox. Gang, 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 gang. Or don't bang. 100. Yeah. Salute to my guy Showtime SP. He had to work today. Yeah. Foreign place, yeah. tattoo my passport. Check these foreign plates. Yeah. We gon' be here for a minute. Per these torrent dates. Don't know the name, get familiar. These ain't foreign faces. We stay on the moves. Y'all sitting and wait. Got too much to lose. There's no room for procrastination. I go get the bag. Homie, that's a fact. By any means, I'ma bring it back. Counting you, counting you. The crew we pay, yes. flip that currency, flip that currency. We ain't come to play. Nah, I see dead people, dead green and blue all day.